Hello and welcome one and all to my show. Anwar Islam, your host, and of course, uh, this is your fantastic channel, Lyceum Bangladesh. Today, we are going to talk about the new curriculum introduced by the government of Bangladesh, uh, where there will be no exams after class 3, uh, no uh, public exams until SSC, and uh, most importantly, how the performance of the students will be evaluated uh, through continuous assessment. Uh, this is your uh, talking point mainly uh, with me, Afkam Tasun Islam, my boy student, uh, fifth grader, and my lovely daughter Salwa Men, who got the Fulbright scholarship uh, for pursuing her uh, four years uh, bachelor course in the most uh, university, in the most prestigious institution in the world, Woodward University, Washington, and who is leaving Bangladesh in the next month. Uh, Salwa Men and uh, Afkam Tasun Islam, uh, both of you, welcome to my show. Thank you. Uh, Salome, starting from you, uh, we know that uh, you were very much vocal against the um, uh, PECE and PSC exams from the very beginning. Now you know that the government has uh, scrapped these two uh, uh, public exams, uh, introducing continuous assessment instead. So my first question to you is that uh, what are the challenges that Bangladesh may face in implementing this uh, new school curriculum? Well, you asked me a very tough question that needs a lengthy answer. You know, in Bangladesh, where the majority teachers in primary and secondary level failed to understand how to set or prepare question papers in creative method, although 12 years have passed since its introduction, now another gigantic task, continuous assessment, is imposing on the unprepared teacher's shoulder. Well, I'm not against the changing needs of the time. Continuous assessment or evaluation is an ideal way for the children to ensure the quality education. But do the teachers really know what and how to do the continuous assessment? Good questions. Tassin, now I'm coming to you. Uh, you know, in order to improve the quality education in Bangladesh, the government has introduced uh, continuous assessment instead of uh, taking the annual exams, you know. So, uh, what do you think? No exam means no tension. I like it. I think if the assessment is done to threaten or discourage the weaker students, then it will be harmful process. Excellent. Uh, well said. Uh, uh, Salome, now you tell us how can we prefer our teachers in implementing the continuous assessment inside the classroom? Uh, it's a matter of regret that we start a new system without preparation, without measuring the length and scope of the opportunities. Our teachers are not perfectly trained in any aspect. Low quality teachers are always a burden of the nation. Continuous assessment requires up-to-date record keeping. With limited resources, I mean with small number of teachers, how the record will be maintained, that is a tough question. Agreed. Continuous assessment often provides a more accurate and complete picture of the learner's level and has a positive impact on learning. Through continuous assessment, the teacher can highlight students' strengths as well as help them work on their current weaknesses and problems. Without teacher's preparedness, it will bring another disaster. Cool. Continuous assessment is not an easy evolution procedure. The amount of work involved is too much on the part of the teacher. So, uh, the government will consider all the things uh, before starting the new process. And uh, thanks for watching. See ya!